day YouTube. Today I'm going to do a bit of a comparison video between Kale Linux on both the left and the right today. Something different, but uh, basically it is the latest release, so 21.4, or should I say 2021.4. The only uh, major difference here of which is actually the, the desktop environment used itself. So on the left hand side we've got the KDE desktop environment, whereas on the right hand side we've got the XFCE desktop environment. So it's kind of similar in a way, even though they are different environments there, using the same backgrounds, color tones, all sorts of things like that. Now, starting off, I should mention that uh, the uh, what what Kali Linux is all about. So the ethos is about providing a, a software suite. Uh, that, that it's designed for IT security professionals, so IT security tools, forensic analysis, and penetration testing tools for your own servers and things like that. Not designed for something that doesn't belong to you, uh, an outside uh, website, but it is definitely uh, for your own uh, stuff there. But uh, without further ado, I'll get a little bit further on this one. So as I mentioned, we are running on the, uh, the KDE desktop, uh, the KDE Plasma desktop environment on the left there. Now, if we have a look at the context menus, uh, much of a muchness there. Even the start menus, as I showed before, do look a little bit similar. It's got all the apps, all the exact same apps, and I can certainly attest to that by going through the whole list of them there. All about those uh, security IT tools, but not really uh, for this video here. Now, uh, let's go to the, the, f the file explorer. This is where things might change a little bit, even though the icon is the same. So, oh, the icons are actually identical. So on the left-hand side, we're using the Dolphin file manager there, which is really synonymous with any KDE Plasma desktop environment. And then on the right side, if I can just get that little pixel of an icon there, we are running on the Athuna file manager. So really similar stuff. Um, yeah, you know, I couldn't blame you for thinking that they looked identical, because they almost do. But hey, what I love to do is right-click and open a terminal, and that makes me happy as Larry. So that's pretty much it there. If we were to jump under the hood, maybe just a little bit, and see what's going on there. So as you might expect, they are running both the uh, the same kernel, because they are the desktop, same, des well, same Linux distribution, just a different desktop environment. So the 5.13.14 kernel, good to see there. Uh, let's see what's next. So if we were to maybe just jump across to using the uh, htop and seeing what's going on. So this is where it might get interesting. So the CPU idling out just nicely for both of them. This is where it gets interesting for me because they're using roughly about the same RAM. Even though XFCE, the desktop environment, it has traditionally been widely considered to be much more of a, uh, of a, of a low weight environment uh, just in terms of uh, resource usage. But uh, Kali Linux is doing it quite well on KDE as well, on KDE Plasma. So 782 megabytes of RAM on boot up, if you can see that, whereas 735. So only 50 megabytes of difference on boot up. So that, that's pretty interesting, got to say. Maybe I'm a nerd. I don't know. You tell me. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I hope to see uh, all of you guys there in the next one.